Good afternoon, everybody. Scott Davis here with another great technical uh, tip for you. As you are well aware, January 14th is here. January 14th is the last date of support for Microsoft Windows 7. So what exactly does that mean for you? It means as of today, Microsoft will officially no longer release software patches for Microsoft Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008. So in your environment, if you are running Windows 7 or a Windows Server 2008 environment, Microsoft will no longer patch that. If you are just a standard small business running a couple Windows 7 machines, probably not the end of the world, but you do want to get those systems updated as soon as you can. But the bigger side is looking at security compliances. If you look at uh, different laws, different regulations, the compliances like HIPAA, PCI, DSS, uh, if you look at the municipal government, um, state uh, police, uh, local municipality polices, those systems all must be updated by the end of business today. Ideally, your IT vendor should have been on you for the last 12 months of getting it updated 12 months ago. So if you're just now learning about this, it's really a conversation to have with your IT team. But all's not lost. So what you can do moving forward here today, obviously get your system updated. That should be prime objective number one. If you've bought your computer typically within the last three to four years and it's still running Windows 7, it will come with a free Windows 10 upgrade and you can still get that free Windows 10 upgrade because the license that came with the computer was a Windows 10 license downgraded to Windows 7. You may even be able to go further back, four years, five years, maybe even six years. What you have to do, find that original bill of lading stating what came with the system. Dell makes it actually very easy. So if you're running a Dell system, you can go to the Dell warranty check website type in that five or six digit code tied to the Dell, that serial number, and it'll actually give you the system configuration. Do a search of win one zero, win 10 with a space in between win and 10, and it's actually gonna tell you if it's licensed for Windows 10 or not. So it makes it really easy for you to determine if you're eligible for that upgrade to Windows 10. If you're not eligible for that Windows 10 upgrade, purchase a Windows 10 upgrade. The fastest, quickest way is to purchase an upgrade. It, anywhere right around that $180 to $200 uh, per license, and that will upgrade that license over from Windows 7 to Windows 10. You can also look at Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365, similar to Office 365, will allow you to license the latest version of Windows, similar to how you're licensing Office, the Office suite for your computer. So you have a couple options on a quick way to get up and running by the end of today with Windows 10. Now, if your computer's already slow, if it's already bogged down, if it's on its last leg, trust me, I've seen the systems. They are out there. Really, your option is replacing the system. If you don't get it replaced today, not the end of the world. Again, you want to do everything you can to, but it is already going on noon, uh, so you probably are not going to get a new system in, get it provisioned, get it ready for in the span of a handful of hours. So realistically, tomorrow, nothing bad is going to happen to your computer. If you have proper tools and security mechanisms in place on your network, the computer is going to be okay running forward. It's a good firewall a good cloud managed DNS type service, a good antivirus, making sure your antivirus is up to date, advanced malware detection. Um, there's an endless list of tools out there that are available to you that your IT vendor or your IT staff should be bringing to you and recommending to you to further protect the network. If you have a good security stack, you're in a better situation running that Windows 7 machine or Windows Server 2008 than you are if you rely on your Comcast modem as your firewall. So understand what your security stack is, understand what your risks are, understand what it means to run Windows 7 and are you running it appropriately. 
So a caveat to all of this is HVAC machines, security camera systems, they're out there. They run Windows 7. I have clients that still run Windows XP on some of these systems. It's not the end of the world if they're not patched, but you need to take precautions to protect them. You wanna make sure they're segmented from your network. The te terminology that your IT team will use is what's known as a VLAN or a virtual local area network. What that does is it segments all of that traffic that's captured and it moves it on a completely separate channel than your production network. So it doesn't have access to your printer, your servers, your computers, or anything else. It is just a standardized one path. This is what I have. And if you can block it down, lock it down to who can access it, it's even better. So again, Windows 7, end of life today, not the end of the world, no reason to go panic, but if you're running Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008, it is time to upgrade. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Just message me right over here and I'll be more than happy to take a couple minutes, talk to you a little bit. Until then, see you next time.